Lead them out of the middle. Well, unexpected it is to say, Richie, of, uh, of David Hay, and as I mentioned, he really looks in superb condition, and having uh, boxed as a, as a heavyweight in the amateur ranks, I think obviously cruiserweight, as we've discussed before, is his, his natural weight. Yeah, I think so. so um, he's not, I don't think he's a heavyweight in the professional ranks. I think this is his weight cruiser, for now anyway, and um, he looks in excellent shape, obviously a very dedicated trainer, and, a, and an exceptional amateur, so yeah, he's got a big future. His opponent uh, from France is just over six feet tall, Seymour Sarri, made his professional debut just about two years ago, had a contest in Belgium and was stopped in two rounds, he's had three in France in the last year, so he's had three more contests than David Hay, but uh, quite frankly this should be a bit of a, a stroll for David Hay, this is the sort of David Hay that we've really come to expect. Yeah, and straight away, Hay there, just coming across with a terrific left hook around the guard, it really was a cracking punch, and uh, totally surprised. Zari and uh, what an excellent shot that was very early on. Good stiff jab from a terrific reflexes from this uh, world championship silver medalist who very nearly became a gold medalist after flooring the Cuban favourite in the opening round. This is Hay going about his business with a vengeance and a real sense of purpose there. Hay looks pretty lean and mean and he's caught the Frenchman with a good right hand midway through this first round and Hay looking very impressive indeed. Nothing too fancy about it. There's no showboating there at all, Richie. No, it's excellent stuff. I mean, his speed really is dazzling. And that's what Zari just cannot handle this speed. He's got, and David Hay's got no left hand, but it's so relaxed. And it's, it's brought across with so much speed and power. Excellent punching from Hay. A good bit of reply by Zari. He's uh, got those elbows well tucked in, and the forearms and gloves are held well up at the front of his face to try to ward off the punches of David Hay. Well, a wonderful couple of... Right round the corner from David Hay, just bearing it nicely, ignoring his left for the time being. All ready to face off this uh, Frenchman, who we believe is of Algerian extraction. His face is starting to redden up with less than a minute to go to the end of this first round. Sarri to his credit looks like a natural cruiserweight, and he's got a little bit more movement than we saw from Tony Booth, so he's not just as, as easy a target to hit. No reason, but at the same time, Jimmy, he must keep those hands nice and high and uh, because David Hayes coming across with these left hooks and it's from that relaxed left hand that he has. He turns the jab into a into a vicious left hook around the guard, so it is so important. There it is again. So important for Zari to keep those hands nice and high. Just a few seconds to go to the end of what has been an interesting first round. Look at Hay trying to just use that corkscrew uppercut coming off that left hook. Good three minutes for David Hay. Um, trainer Adam Booth and manager Eugene Maloney will be pretty pleased with that. And so far, Mick Williamson needs to say. Has not been needed at all except to smear a little bit of grease around the eyes. So a very good opening round by David Hay. Keeping a lot of his work at a distance. Hasn't really stepped in. That was just an example of how fast this kind of hand speed really is. Oh, excellent hand speed, you know, Jimmy. I have to say, I have to say, turning that jab. There he comes around the guard with the hook. His opponent thinks the jab coming and then he, he changes the plane of attack to the hook. Excellent shot. Well, deciding not to bother sitting down on the stool in this uh, interval. Well, that's uh, a history I'm sure that we'll see more of. It's certainly going to develop. Uh, those uh, stock figures are 22 years old. One contest, one win, one KO. You like to keep it going along those uh, lines, I'm quite sure, as this career unfolds. <laughs> So David Hay, winner of multi-nations tournaments in, in Rome and in Croatia and in Copenhagen. Boxed as a 19-year-old, just an 18-year-old I should say, in the World Championships in Houston and Texas. Three and a half years ago, lost to the eventual winner, Michael Sims of the United States, on the 8-2 computer scoring system. A terrific performance by the teenager. Zari once again covering up, but he's going to have to cover up. And to his credit, he pops out of that crouching style and has a little go at David Hay. Wonderful punching again from Hay. You're really showing us uh, all the different shots the left hand, the right hand, hooks, uppercuts, screw shots. He really has got it all. Excellent stuff. I don't know that Becky Van's going to learn. David Hay's opponent going to take too many more of those solid right hands. Zari very wary of Hay's punching ability and trying to avoid that uppercut if he possibly can. Good footwork by Hay. That's a terrific piece of movement by the Englishman. Good footwork by the Frenchman. 
Oh, that was a solid right. Oh, terrific right hand by Hay. This one is very might uh, have been knocked out in this first contest. There's stop, but he's got a good chin, but his nose has cut very badly. There's a, a cut right in the middle of the bridge of his nose. It's not a contest threatening at this stage. It probably looks a lot worse than it is. Yeah, you have to give credit to Sorry, He's acted some, some terrific shots during the first two rounds of this fight. He really has, and he's still there and sticking out the jab. He's having a go, but uh, he's just out of his league here. Yeah. Yeah, he is, uh, really is in a different class. He's been doing some uh, serious sparring in recent months. He sparred with uh, Mark Krentz and Roman Greenberg, Michael Sprott and Tommy Eastwood, many of whom are on this bill tonight here in Sheffield. I mean, just a little bit off by him. Through that left and was uh, maybe five, six inches away from landing on the target. But he's certainly dominating this contest as we come to the midway point. It was a scheduled four rounder. And it's hard to, to, to see where that cut is. It looks like it's a vertical cut down the nose, which is very rare, if anything. But uh, it certainly is bleeding a lot now. Yeah, a tiny little blood vessel just there, right underneath the skin, and they've obviously popped a little bit. There's a lot of blood coming down, but I don't think it's any, anything terribly bad. Well, it says a lot for the courage of Saber Zari that he stood up to some good shots. A lot of men may well have folded. So it is just a little nick of that uh, fairly prominent nose of his. Hey, nice and relaxed, getting the shots in, even brushing aside the guard of the Frenchman. And that was a wonderful right hand on a second round the corner. And those are the two uh, particular punches in that round that will have caused all the hurt. Yeah, great right hand there to get it from Hay. Really shown us. He, can, he really can go through all the all the punch ranges. I mean, he's long range, short range, and medium with the hooks and uppercuts. He had, really has got it all. But fair play to the Frenchman. He's still there. He's having a go. But uh, David Hay, he's in good form tonight. Well, they're working on uh, Zari's nose. David Hay, a little bit of a graze under the head, underneath his right eye. But nothing to worry about. The 26 rulers are just four completion of the contest. Lost the first, but has won the last three. So the midway stage in the schedule for rounder and uh, one of the great hopes of British professional boxing, David Hay, looking pretty comfortable and pretty composed. Those are still bleeding, so they weren't able to stem the flow, but it's nothing to worry about in terms of it affecting the uh, contest. He hasn't really rushed this one at all, Richie. He's been quite content to take his time. Yeah, very composed, but his power and the explosive power that he has really is uh, very impressive for me. And uh, he's not even out of breath, he's so relaxed. But it's that left hand of his. He gets caught himself there. He certainly Richie. did. That was the bad right hand from uh, Saber Zari. Well, oh, that's Sting Hay into action. I think it just did. Maybe that was the last thing that Zari should have done, is to really whack Hay. And it wasn't a bad shot at all. Hey, quicker to the punch. Just a little bit lighter than his French opponent, which is interesting. Sari came in at 13, nine and a half. Hey, at 13, eight and a quarter. So we can hit this cruiserweight limit without any problems at all. Yeah, what is impressive as well, Jim? David Hay, commanding from the centre of the ring, another great right hand there. Oh, that was a terrific shot and a couple more, and Hayes really opening up. And Sari has taken some very good shots indeed, and he's still there. Well, we remember the Cuban, Orlando Solis, taking a, a terrific shot from Hay in Belfast some 18, 19 months ago and coming back to defeat Hay. I don't think he's going to get himself defeated here in Sheffield this evening. But Sari's face is a mass of red. It's very reddened up from the punch and the blood is now starting to be smeared across his face. But he's still game and he's still coming forward. This is exactly what Hay wanted. This is the type of workout that David Hay needs early on in his career. It's no good if he keeps knocking guys out in one and two rounds. Here, yeah, this fella's come to follow. He's got to give him a good account of himself. And Hay, although he's his command, he's still having to watch what he's doing here. Well, he certainly has. This has been a very good piece of uh, matchmaking. Very few of us had heard anything at all about Saber Zari. <laughs> that nose is worsening all the time. And again, a little bit, oh, that was wonderful by Hay. I was about to say, but a little bit off target with the right. And then he produced a, a two punch combination that rocked the Frenchman back in his heels. <laughs> oh! In our ranks, Sabre's Harry, right at the end. 
Nicky Van will get that a coach. That's definitely going to be a 10-8 ride to David Hay. What a right hand that was. He sent him back to his corner. He'll come back for the uh, next ride. But David Hay from nowhere at all. Although we did sense that he may just have been building up to it. For just a right hand of stunning proportions. And the Frenchman right on the belt. Find himself not just in the seat of his pants. But almost out through the ropes. Hey, look at that. What hand speed. And Zari almost on top of our television monitors here. What a shot, Richard. Yeah, excellent. Sets him up with the jab. And there's that right hand straight through the guard. I mean... He, Zari did well to get up from that. He was just above us, and what a cracking punch that was. Right through the guard. Excellent shot. And as I said, he did well to actually get up. Well, clearly there are heavyweights in Britain wouldn't have got up from that shot, and that uh, says so much about this fellow. A look at Hay, a little bit of perspiration on the forehead, and as we said, well, he's hardly, uh, he's hardly warmed up. It's confirmation from Mickey Van. The touch stops for the last round. Mickey Van's had a good look at the nose of Sabre Zari. And what a, a brave chap he is to come back from that one. <laughs> so David Hay has gone another couple of runs than he did in his uh, first contest when he stopped Tony Booth. And now he's trying to stop this Frenchman. Oh, what a mess this uh, Zari's face is. And he's really puffing and blowing now, but he is such a game fellow. Maybe a little bit too game for his own good. Hey, trying to... A little bit more exactly in the work of Hay. He's determined to try to finish this one, Richie. He certainly is. I mean, I think the Kivan should step in here. This guy's... Uh, yeah, here he goes, I think. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Zary is not at all pleased. He wanted to do more. He wanted to see the contest on. And Mickey Van, I think, has seen enough. Uh, Zary was never going to win this. He was uh, cutting up quite badly. He was bruising quite badly. He's very annoyed that the contest has been uh, stopped because he doesn't want that on his record. He was never going to beat David Hay. And uh, David Hay, we're looking uh, nicely unruffled and unflustered. Gets a wipe down from Mick Williamson. I can reflect on the job very well done. No one single shot just ended this, but the sheer pressure from Hay was just far too much. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was a great performance. And uh, not only that, uh, Zari himself just gave a good performance. And I think we'll probably see a lot more of him as well. But uh, David Hay, excellent.